Now, having done a preliminary ROI analysis of the optical data in your images, you may want to go one step further and determine whether or not there are low level signals in your image that simply aren't being captured because of the default color range threshold being used to set the dynamic range of the signal intensity presented. If you look over to the left here, the automated color range threshold is well above zero. And one can go ahead and do an exhaustive search for data by simply adjusting the color range threshold to zero and the color range minimum of your calibration bar to zero. So let's go ahead and double click on the top left image. We can adjust the color range minimum to zero and the color range threshold to zero. And now we have a fuller presentation of the data that is actually in your image file. You can see all of the low level background signal throughout the image. And the big reveal here is that there are above background signals from the ectopic tumors of the mice on the left hand side that we could not see before when we had an elevated color range threshold. Now that it's down to zero, we can see them and we can adjust that color range threshold so that they remain visible. Now, this can be done by adjusting the color range threshold either through the uh, sliding bar or by entering in a specific value. What I typically do is I'll adjust the uh, threshold with the sliding bar to an approximately correct value and then enter in a final value in the type in window. So something on the order of six point, let's say 6.5 times 10 to the fourth to make it a simple number. And then I'll enter in the same value for the color range minimum so that there's a correspondence between the threshold and the minimum of the calibration bar. Fantastic. And finally, to again, have a dynamic range that is uh, some easy number to report on, we can adjust the maximum here to, let's say, 1.5 e to the 7, and that will give us a 2.5 log dynamic range. So in the process of getting the color range minimum and threshold down to zero, we have successfully found low level signal intensity data in some of the mice and have adjusted the uh, threshold and min to lower levels and now have a fuller presentation of all of the above background data that's actually in the image. Now it's important to realize that in changing the threshold value and the minimum and max of the calibration bar, I have not changed, we should say our analysis has not changed any aspect of the file. The data remains the same. It's just the presentation of the data that has changed. Mm -hmm.